Hi, my name is Andrea and welcome to our weekly what's for dinner video. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our sweet little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinner ideas using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, happy new year. Today is New Year's Day and this is our New Year's Day dinner. I made some oven fried chicken, some homemade mashed potatoes with heavy whipping cream and butter and salt and pepper. And then I also made some canned green beans that I doctored up with some bacon fat, onions and seasoned salt. I did record a video on how I make oven fried chicken. It is so quick and easy. I will make sure to link that in the description box so you guys can check it out. All right, so this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having these stuffed breaded butterfly shrimp. They have French onion on the inside. They are from HEB, which is a grocery store in Texas. And um, it is stuffed with a cream cheese base, and it has onions, green onions in there as well. The way that it comes packaged is it has two individual trays and they're shrink wrapped. Um, so I really like that because you can only, you can make one tray at a time if you'd like and 12 come in a box. So I just made all of them. Howard and I will get six each. Harrison won't eat them. And then we're also having some pastaroni and I made a Caesar salad on the side. Um, this is just a chopped salad base and it has cabbage, lettuce, kale, red cabbage, carrots, and green onions in there. And then I made my own Caesar salad. I added some um, fresh Parmesan cheese, and then I used this Ken's light um, creamy dressing. I used to be obsessed with the ones from Aldi. I used to buy them probably weekly, but the last two kits that I got really tasted heavy on the mayo. Howard liked it, but I, I don't care for mayo, so it was a bit much for me. So I discovered the salad dressing and it doesn't taste mayo-y. So if you're like me, you don't like that heavy mayo taste, this doesn't taste like it at all. And it's a lot cheaper just to make my own little Caesar salads. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this craft spaghetti kit. I first discovered this um, kit. It's been many, many months ago. I actually did a video on reviewing um, cheap grocery store dinner kits and this was one that I reviewed and I fell in love with it. It is so quick and easy to make. It comes with seasonings and it also comes with the pasta. So if you're on a budget and you need something cheap, you can make this and feed a family of three pretty comfortably. Now I did add ground beef to mine and I also prepared mine with um, um, tomato sauce instead of tomato paste, which is a variation on the directions. And I think I prefer it with the tomato sauce better. And I did not have any garlic bread. So I used some naan that I had in the freezer. I just heated it up in the oven. And this spaghetti kit also comes with the Parmesan cheese that you see sprinkled on top. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey, so for dinner tonight, I'm trying out a new recipe from iHeart Recipes. It is a cheesy broccoli chicken and rice casserole. Of course, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description um, box, a link to the recipe. Um, but here it is, and I'm making some modifications based on what I have on hand. So it calls for you to use a pound of um, boneless, skinless chicken thighs raw, season them up and, and cook them in the skillet. But I had this John Soles already cooked, flame grilled um, chicken breast strips in my freezer that I needed to use. So I thawed it out and cut it up in, um, and diced it up and I'm still gonna fry it in the skillet. And then it calls for a 14 ounce can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm just gonna use what I have on hand, which is 10 and a half ounces. It should be fine. I'm using a less sodium soup. Okay, so in the skillet, I have cooked my chicken and onions. Well, actually, you know, my chicken was already cooked, but I wanted to um, heat it up in the skillet to get that water out of it because it had been in my freezer. And so now I'm just adding in some chopped fresh broccoli. And now I'm adding in my cream of mushroom. Like I said, mine is a little bit smaller than what the recipe calls for. If it's dry, then I'll probably add a little bit of sour cream in there. Just gonna give it a stir. 
And now I'm adding in my rice. It called for a cup and a half of rice. I added about two cups. And I'm adding in my cheese. It called for cheddar. Um, I have a, or had a Mexican cheese that I needed to use, so that's what you see here. We like cheese, so I always add extra cheese. And now I'm just gonna give this a good stir. Okay, so this is ready for the oven. I added about a third cup of sour cream because it seemed a little bit dry. And I added some cheese on top. I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about half an hour. I completely forgot to season my broccoli when I added it to the skillet, but oh well, we didn't need the extra sodium anyway. But I will uh, show you everything once I get it all plated up. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up. I baked it for about half an hour, and it's not bad. I didn't follow the directions exactly, of course. It is a little dry, so I do think I probably did need 14 ounces of uh, cream of mushroom soup, but I didn't have it, so just use what I have. But it's not bad. I would definitely give it another try. Serving it with a side of Texas toast, um, five cheese toast. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having non pizzas in my freezer. Um, I had this family size pack of non bread that I got on clearance from Kroger a while ago for $3.43, so that was a steal. And like I said, I put it in my freezer. Some odds and ends that I need to use. I have some red onion, I have some um, spicy salami. Howard will probably want this cheese on his pizza too. Um, I've got this deli sliced pepperoni and it's just really big slices of pepperoni. Using some fresh mozzarella to make pizza for the first time. Normally I use the shredded mozzarella and I don't have pizza sauce. I'm gonna be using this marinara that I had in the pantry. Okay, so here is my pizza. Howard already dug into his, but it looks very similar to mine. Um, but I did sprinkle this pizza seasoning on top of mine. I really like it a lot. It's tomato, basil, and oregano with, uh, it has a little bit of salt in there. Um, but quick and easy dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.